We need to have a talk, Janice. We get a lot of complaints about you. What kind of complaints? She seems distracted and disinterested, and her head's in the clouds. So what you're saying is... You're fired. That's what I'm actually saying. I'm having a hard time right now, Jill. I just need a place to stay for a while. We're on your team. Your team, Janice. Team that pays their bills. No, I knew my husband before. We uh, kind of traveled in the same circle of friends. He was an acquaintance. So when it came time for me to pick a new project, I met with a lot of different writers, and he was one of them. And I liked his pitch of the giant mechanical man the best. And so I attached myself to that project. That was about four and a half years ago. And then in the time that it took for him to write the script and develop the movie and get financing for the film, we did end up falling in love and getting married, and we just had a baby. Why did you choose to start doing this uh, robot thing? I feel like modern life can be alienating. It can be like you're mindlessly walking through it like a robot. It was a little unusual being directed by my husband in um, the love scenes, for example. There's a kissing scene, and... Uh, Chris and my husband Lee became such good friends in the rehearsal process and in the making of the movie that Chris was very shy about kissing me. So he kept holding back and I could tell he's a very passionate person and I could just tell that he wouldn't really kiss me. And so I think the most awkward thing was having to go to my husband, the director, and say, I think you need to go tell this man to kiss me more. <laughs> because he's holding back, you need to go give him permission and tell him it's okay. For once in your life, just take yourself seriously, all right? Your life is upside down, it's in shambles. You know, there's a chapter in my book on positive thinking. Doug, stop trying so hard. And what's great about independent film is nobody's in it for the money. Everyone's in it because their heart's in it. And that kind of energy, when, it's, when that infuses a project, it just reminds you of why you got into this business in the first place.